my workplace offers a kind of hybrid environment, so they recommend that we come in two to three times a week, um, but it's completely up to us and the days that we choose to come in are up to us as well. And if, for example, one week um, I had some commitments where I had to stay at home, that would be completely fine. So yeah, they're very flexible. Actually, I don't live in London, I'm from Glasgow, so I work between London and Glasgow, so the work has been very flexible. So. I come every two weeks in London. I stay for three, four days. So really very flexible situation I have. So I know people who work part-time, so three days a week, four days a week. Um, generally there's sort of informal flexibility about hours. So if you wanted to work a bit earlier and clock off a bit earlier, people can do that. Um, but on an ad hoc basis, generally. Yeah, I've done it all my life. <laughs> I've never worked a full-time job. I've always done part-time or flexible work because I've got my passion and my dream so I want to work somewhere who they support that and you can do your own creation apart from working. Yeah, I think one of the good things about COVID is uh, they understood they were more focused on outcome rather than being presenting. You know, there's a lot of mentality change from management but uh, they understood, you know, the time that cuts down on the travel and all that kind of thing. So they were very, very flexible. I still were requested to come maybe twice a week. I think they would be amenable to it. I think, although within my role, I think they'd have an issue if I was, say, requesting three days a week, because my role, I kind of need to be around most of the time. I do know of some people that work completely hybrid and completely remotely as well. Um, there's others that decide to come into the office every day, so again, it's just a complete range. Because my, my employer know that I'm studying, so we can negotiate sometimes. Yeah. This is uh, what I requested, but also actually the department I work, they've said to the whole employees, you know, they recommend two days a week, but it's not enforced. So yeah, so it's been, it's been great to be able to do that. Um, I think it's just in your interview, you're just being honest with what you want from the job and if they want to support you being more flexible or not, because some people might require a full-time job, so then you can't be flexible. So it's just being honest. I've always been honest with my interviews. It's like, if I'm getting a job, I just say, look, I can't work, I don't want to work full-time. Or if I have an audition or I have a, a job I want to do, or an experience I want to do somewhere to be able to do that, because, you know, life is for living as well. I think, especially in the age, um location shouldn't be matter you know I think they should be really opening up the whole of UK not just London centric and so why is he especially in Glasgow or Edinburgh or whatever I think I would highly recommend for people to tap in talents who are not wanting to come to London because of expensive and all that kind of thing so if they are open-minded doesn't matter where you are as long as you what you could bring to the table I think that would be valuable I would say but just by taking into account people's personal situations, some people have families, some people they live by themselves, for them to come into the office is like a great opportunity for them to just be around people. I know someone in my team said she's literally just moved into a flat with her partner and she feels like she doesn't speak to anyone the whole day when he's working. So I think just taking it into account what people want for themselves and then they're going to be happier at work and um, it's going to reflect on their work. Well I think since Covid it's become the norm for flexible working. I know some offices are trying to kind of get people back in and have mandatory days in the office. Again, I think it depends on the, the business, um, their requirements. Where I work in consulting, a lot of the project work, um, people are based kind of all over the country. So for us, it doesn't make quite so much of a difference where we are. Um, most of the work I do is based on teams. But yeah, if, I think it's important for when collaboration is required and people can make it to the office, I think that in-person contact is also still really important. So yeah, some companies definitely I think an area that could be explored more is job sharing um, and I think that's a way that give people flexibility uh, while still covering the, the five days a week that most employers want over that time. So I think that would be one, one area I think employers could look at more. I think after like in the post COVID period, it's a better choice for your employees to work in home, work from home or in office, and also it can save a lot of costs of the accommodation, like renting a office building here. So I think right now it's a good choice.
Thank you.